Does your idea of a good Halloween involve staying home with a creepy book and eating lots of chocolate? Then today's video is for you. So today I have some recommendations for you guys for some books to read this Halloween. I've kind of separated them into some different categories of supernatural, paranormal, creepy books. First up is my choice for a vampire book. This book is not your typical YA romance sparkly vampires who don't drink human blood or drink human blood from hospitals instead of from people. This is real creepy vampires. And that book is The Historian by Elizabeth Costova. This book is about the Dracula mythology. The description on the back says, Breathtakingly suspenseful and beautifully written, The Historian is the story of a young woman plunged into a labyrinth where the secrets of her family's past connect to an in inconceivable evil, the dark 15th century reign of Vlad the Impaler, and a time-defying pact that may have kept his awful work alive through the ages. The search for the truth becomes an adventure of monumental proportions, taking us from monasteries and dusty libraries to the capitals of Eastern Europe, in a feat of storytelling so rich, so hypnotic, so exciting, that it has enthralled readers around the world. And in case you don't know, Vlad the Impaler, the person it mentioned on the back, is the real historical person that Dracula is based off of. This book is awesome. I normally don't read anything that isn't middle grade or YA because I don't find it that interesting, but I love this book. It's really creepy and it'll make you want to research the Dracula mythology, but at the same time will make you not want to because Dracula might come after you. Next up is my pick for if you want a modern ghost book, and that is the Shades of London series by Maureen Johnson. I only have the second book here, The Madness Underneath. The first one is called The Name of the Star. The description for the first book, The Name of the Star, says, Jack the Ripper is back and he's coming for Rory next. Louisiana teenager Rory DeVoe arrives in London to start a new life at boarding school just as a series of brutal murders mimicking the horrific Jack the Ripper killing spree of more than a century ago has broken out across the city. The police are left with few leads and no witnesses, except one. Rory spotted the man believed to be the prime suspect, but she is the only one who saw him, the only one who can see him, and now Rory has become his next target unless she can tap her previously unknown abilities to turn the tables. This series is great. It has its creepy moments, it has its funny moments, it has some romance. It's really great if you want some creepy ghost murders but don't want to be too scared. I didn't find it too scary. Then for the more psychological thriller side of things, I have chosen the complete works of Edgar Allan Poe. Poe's short stories are the perfect thing to sit down and read on Halloween night because they're really creepy and they won't take you very long. Some of my favorites are The Cask of Amontillado, The Black Cat, and The Mask of the Red Death, but there's a lot of other really good ones. And then for my ultimate scary book pick, because it has ghosts and serial killers and magic, supernatural everything, is The Diviners by Libba Bray. I know that's a huge shock. You probably didn't even know that the word nerds like this book. But really, this book is perfect for Halloween because it's got everything, the Ouija boards and the ghosts and a ghost serial killer, and it is very, very creepy at times. I'll read you the back of this one as well. It says, Evie O'Neill has been exiled from her boring old hometown and shipped off to the bustling streets of New York City, and she is positively ecstatic. It's 1926, and New York is filled with speakeasies, Ziegfeld girls, and rakish pickpockets. The only catch is that she has to live with her Uncle Will and his unhealthy obsession with the occult. Evie worries he'll discover her darkest secret, a supernatural power that has only brought her trouble so far. But when the police call Will to the crime scene of a murdered girl branded with a cryptic symbol, Evie realizes her gift could help catch a serial killer. As Evie jumps headlong into a dance with a murderer, other stories unfold in the city that never sleeps. And unknown to all, something dark and evil has awakened. And last up, I will share with you what I am reading this Halloween. That would be Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. I've actually never read a Neil Gaiman book before, so I'm pretty excited about this. Word nerd Aaron Latimer actually recommended it during our live chat last Sunday. And the back cover of that book says, Richard Mayhew is a plain man with a good heart and an ordinary life that has changed forever on the day he stops to help a girl he finds bleeding on a London sidewalk. 
From that moment forward, he is propelled into a world he never dreamed existed. A dark subculture flourishing in abandoned subway stations and sewer tunnels below the city. A world far stranger and more dangerous than the only one he has ever known. So I'm pretty excited about what I'm going to be reading this Halloween. What are you guys reading? Is anyone else reading something creepy in celebration of this holiday? Let me know down in the comments, and if you need some more recommendations of scary books, we actually talked about Halloween-appropriate books two Sundays ago in our live chat. That was October 19th, and I will link to it in the outro of this video. And don't forget to tune in this Sunday at 7.30 Eastern Time for our Word Nerds live chat. It is our first birthday, so we will be celebrating, and I'm sure we'll be talking about books we're reading and writing and just everything and having a really fun time. I'll see you guys then.